Coach, opening thoughts whenever you're settled. Thank you very much. First of all, I'd like to, you know, give the credit to to Illinois, to their, uh, to Coach Underwood, to their program, their players. Um, they've had a terrific season that will be continuing, and they are very well prepared, um, very well coached, uh, play well together as a team, uh, and they deserve the credit for the win tonight. I'm proud of our guys for how we continued to fight back after a slow start. Thought we showed a lot of competitive spirit. Um, but for us to be successful uh, against a really good team, we've, we've got to do some things in the margins better in terms of scoring off turnovers. You know, we've got to rebound a little better um, and some things like that that could have put us in a different position. So proud of our guys. A lot of credit to Illinois for the job they did. Thank you, Coach. Take questions for Coach Student Athletes. Anyone? Right here in the back, right? Coach Alec Bussey, 24-7. You talked about needing to be a little bit better in the margins, rebounding, points off turnovers. Um, does that kind of tie into your opinion of needing to be the aggressive um, team from the start on each end of the court? Yeah, I mean, we certainly take pride in being that team. Felt like didn't do the job we needed to do from the jump. Uh, it seemed like we came out a little tight for whatever reason. And we're at our best when we're dictating, when we're pressuring the basketball, when we're chasing down rebounds, when we're attacking off turnovers, we weren't able to do those things uh, to the level that are uh, the standard that we try to uphold today. Good question. Right here in front. Uh, Nick Alley, Field Level Media. This one's for you, Coach. You guys get within two a couple times late in the second half there. What was Illinois doing to kind of make it tough to get over that hump? Well, I mean, they, they play very hard. They, they have great effort going to the offensive glass, so um, they're going to make you earn it. Um, we had some opportunities, and I think mentally you get over that hump and you tie the game, or if you're fortunate enough to take the lead, it has a whole different mental effect on because our guys know they've continued to battle back. Um, but, you know, unfortunately we just we weren't able to take advantage of opportunities when they presented themselves. And Illinois also did a very good job of not allowing anything to come easy for us. Do we have any questions for Curtis or Trey? Uh, for Trey, you obviously don't have any eligibility left. How do you want you know, your last season at Iowa State to be remembered? Uh, I just want to be remembered as one of the guys who did everything right. Um, you know, I want to be remembered as an everyday guy, a guy who led uh, not only on the court but off the court as well in everything that I did. Um, I want to be remembered as a person of great character and not just a great basketball player. Thank you. Do you have any other questions for Curtis or Trey? If not, you guys can head back to the locker room. Thank you very much. We'll take any other further questions for Coach? You guys can head back to them. Thank you. Right here in front, Pete. TJ, I think they went age 22, 23, 23, 24. Uh, they're an old team, a veteran team, and obviously had some physical imposing qualities that I think showed up early. Could you just talk about the, the challenge that combination <laughs> gave you tonight? Yeah, they've got, you know, they start 6'6 six, six and bigger at every position, and they, were, they did a good job of being the aggressor, I felt like, defensively. Um, they did a great job kind of pushing us out where we want to run our offense. That physicality also on the glass uh, played an impact on both sides. And then they were able, <laughs> from an offensive standpoint, especially in the first half, to be the aggressor, <laughs> driving the ball at us. And we didn't do the job we needed, <laughs> needed to do. So they're definitely older, experienced veteran group with some bigger bodies. And they were the more physical team um, you know, for, for a large part of the game. Any other questions for Coach? Coach, obviously going into the locker room, um, you know, guys in tears, upset at the way that the season has ended. How will you look back on how successful the season was for your program as you continue to build it? Yeah, I think a lot of those guys, hopefully those are tears that they have a tremendous sense of pride in the work that they did every single day. Um, we challenge them from the time they arrive in the summer that how we will do things on a daily basis. It's not for everybody, but they've done as well in embracing that job and hitting it head on as anybody could. 
Uh, if you look at how they be remembered, they, they've elevated our program. Uh, they've continued to move our program forward to do what we did on our home court, to do what we did in the Big 12 Conference, to make the run we've made late and, and to play the way we've played. Um, they should be remembered as a group that was extremely hardworking, that made each other better, and a group that the unity that they had allowed them to play at a higher level as a, as a group maybe than the parts because they were so committed to one another. Um, but really proud of them. It's a f very fun team to coach and, and great guys to be around every day. Go to here. Yeah, uh, uh, and Shannon, 29 tonight. Um, you know, obviously he'd been doing it for, for a while on a streak, I think, of seven straight games, 25 or more. But, you know, just for you guys particularly, what types of problems did he cause and what makes him such a hard matchup? Yeah, we, we didn't do a great job from the start. You know, he got some clean looks early and got his confidence going. Um, we need to be more intentional um, closing out to him. And then he's so fast, like, in space, especially especially that left hand, <coughs> and we let him we let him get left, and 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 again, he's a really tough cover. I mean, he's he's as an aggressive of, of an offensive player as there is in the country, and he's playing at such a high level. So um, you can't let a guy like that get the opportunities that we allowed for him early, where he got his confidence going. Any further questions for coach? Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.